Do you know this about stethoscope? If it's your first time to watch our videos, you are warmly welcome and don't forget to subscribe. The stethoscope may be the one instrument common to all doctors. No other symbol so strongly identifies a doctor than a stethoscope dangling around the neck like talisman. In 1819, a French physician named René Lyonnec had a dilemma. He needed to listen to heart sounds of a young woman with signs of heart disease. But the only method of listening to heart sounds known to Western medicine at that time was simply to press an ear on patient's chest. René Lyonnec was not comfortable placing his ear directly onto a woman's chest to listen to her heart. How could he make a diagnosis? The story goes that Lyonnec grabbed a piece of paper and rolled into a cylinder. He applied one end of cylinder to the woman's chest and the other to his ear. Lyonnec saved himself and his patient from embarrassment. But he was also surprised to find that the heart sounds conducted through the cylinder were louder and clearer than Hugh had ever heard before. Lyonnec named his invention the stethoscope from Greek words for chest and to view. He later used a hollow tube of wood, 3.5 cm in diameter and 25 cm long, which was the forerunner of modern stethoscope. Lyonnec's wooden tube was the first true stethoscope. The wooden stethoscope were used until the latter half of the 19th century, when rubber tubing were developed. Since the introduction of stethoscope in 1819, several modifications have been introduced to have these stethoscopes we see today. Lyonnec was born in 1781 in France and studied medicine under his physician uncle in Nantes until he was called to serve as a medical cadet in the French Revolution. Thanks for watching. This is Mnemonic Store. Bye until next time.